Hi, welcome to the channel. This is Beyond Authentic Health and Beauty, where we are documenting our authentic slim and well journey and beyond. Today, we are in the beyond section. We are in the beauty section because I have an unboxing for you. Today, it's a rocker box. For those of you that don't know, Rockerbox is a beauty subscription box here in the UK. It costs £18.95 now. They recently put their prices up. And uh, yeah, it comes every month and we get six items. Now, I don't know what the value of this month's box is. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get it open, shall we? Now, as I say, it, they have just put their prices up. They were £13.95, including postage and packing. And now the price is £18.95. So... In the grand scheme of things, that's quite a big lift, isn't it? So I'm going to open it up. This now comes with this double layer protection on top, which I really like, actually. I like the way this box is now made um, because it does just protect everything that's in it. Um, right, so let's crack that open. Now, we always get the boxes laid out like this. Rocker Box is very well known for their pink paper wormy things so yeah it's a very pretty box and i've got to say that generally speaking rocket box is now the only beauty box that i still subscribe to and i am considering that this box is going to really make my decisions to whether i keep it or not so anyway this is the uh, little leaflet they always give us a little leaflet um and it says here for me november has always been the month when i see enough of a lull in my diary to instigate a bit of mind and body detox. Okay. I find that once the Halloween parties, bonfire get-togethers and endless back-to-work drinks have all quieted off, I'm presented with the perfect opportunity to stay home, press my reset button and get some rest before the rush of Christmas begins. Okay, I kind of see that. Yeah, I see that. So this is the rest, relax and reset box. Okay, so it just says here at the, at the bottom, now is the time to rest, relax uh, and reset. And this month's Rocket Box will help you do exactly that. Right then, so I've got the little leaflet. I will refer to it as we go, but I am going to pull the, ob the object slightly at random just to see what's on top. Okay, so this is, it just says toner on it. This is by the brand Skin Chemists London. Okay, we had something from this. Oh, I think it was last year that I got something from Skin Chemists. Let me have a little look, see. So this is what it is. It just says on the side, toner. <laughs> it's got a weird sticker on one side of the lid. So let's have a little look, see at this. Okay, so it's just, it's just a little bottle of toner. Okay, so it says advanced collagen facial toner, tonique facial or collagen avance. I know, right? Sorry to all my French or Canadian viewers, but yeah, I know that was bad. Right, let's have it. Let's find it in the little book and see what it says. Here we go. Skin Chemistry Advanced Brightening Toner. It says, brighten, retexturize, ooh, um, smooth out your complexion by including this toner as part of your nightly skincare routine. It contains niacinamide, which is responsible for maintaining skin elasticity as well as playing an anti-inflammatory role. So it's crucial in preventing breakouts, but it also contains fatty acid rich sweet almond oil. Okay which is also full of vitamins A, B1, B2, B6, which are great at penetrating the skin with conditioning agents. Finally, but crucially, vitamin C guarantees brightness and radiance whilst also offering protection from those nasty free radicals that can cause premature aging, pigmentation and wrinkles. And this is a deluxe mini. Now it does say here that the, the RRP is 23 pounds 40. So I don't know whether that is for the mini or the full size. It's a little bit confusing these days about, about that. Now, a mini. I'm not sure how I feel about a mini, to be honest, because with all of the, the furore about Rockerbox increasing their prices, they did say we'd get less minis, more full sizes, and more higher-end brands. Okay, right. Not sure about that. It sounds amazing. It sounds really good. And a £23 retail value... Uh, £23.40, so maybe that is the, the retail value for this. I will have a look online to see if I can find the price for the full size and I will try and pop it on screen just here. Hi everyone, Editing Me here. I've been looking online to try and find the prices of these items just to confirm that the prices they say in the box are actually the genuine prices online. And of course, the first item I went to was this toner. Now, this item is not on Skin Chemist's website. 
Okay, you take this in, I'll put a little picture on screen. This does not appear on the Skin Chemist's website. However, I did a bit of digging and it gets more confusing because this is the picture on their little leaflet. Great, right? Absolutely right. But this picture, the actual description that's used in this leaflet is for a different Skin Chemist London product. It's for the Advanced Brightening Toner. And that product has a retail value of £24 for a 250ml bottle. So for a full size bottle. So I then went over to their Instagram. I was going to message them on Instagram and up came a picture of this with a little video talking about a sneak peek however they haven't called it the uh, advanced collagen facial toner they refer to it as the anti-aging collagen repairing facial toner which is a whole other product that skin chemists have and they use the description for that product so i don't know whether this is old stock i don't know whether this is pre a brand change or a uh, a change of ingredients i've got absolutely no idea so when i talk about this product and the retail value for that on this video just bear in mind that currently this doesn't exist the only place i have found this is on the secondary market on ebay and depop where people have got them in their rocket boxes and are selling them on so yeah go figure um i have reached out to rocket box to see if they are going to comment or to see what's going on i will let you know if they reply right there, the next item we've got a oh we've got something stuck with wormies what is this uh blossom and blossom this is the dry body oil oh okay okay all right let's find it on here Let's find it on here before I dismiss it. Um, it says, uh, turn turn night spa-like with this skin-nourishing, super-rich body oil. It's quite literally like a silky robe for the skin. Its dry formula means no greasy residue. It just sinks gloriously into your dry limbs, effortlessly treating skin and leaving it soft and rehydrated. So you can use it right before bed and not worry about it ruining your sheets. It's got a retail value of £12. And this is also a deluxe mini. Oh, I don't like this box. So far, two items out, two minis. Rocker box, where is this super amazing full-size products? Everything's going to be amazing thing. Hmm, not sure, not sure. Right, okay, well, it, they say that we can put it on our bodies, so let's do that. Let's do a little, oh, oh squirt on my arm. Oh, it smells, um, what's it? Oh, it's got a very familiar smell to me. It's 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 quite lavendery, but it's also got it might be patchouli or something in it. It smells like there's some ylang ylang in there. There's definitely some ylang ylang in there coming through. So that's a very it's a very nice scent. Do you know I'm gonna have to put it on this arm, aren't I? Even if I even if I really hate it, I'm gonna have to put it on the other arm. Otherwise, I'm gonna be walking around all day going. Oh, shady, mm, shady, mm. right? Okay, so there's definitely a lang, -lang in here. There's definitely um, there's definitely some sort of lavender in here, but there's also a sort of there's also like a patchouli type smell to it. So yeah, that's interesting. Okay, okay, interesting. Twelve pounds for the retail value for that one. Okay, so what's next? We've got a. What's this one? This is Symbiosis. Oh, do you know? Oh, I haven't actually got this exact one, but I've just gone through my skincare tub and I found a very similar product to this. Um, but instead of it being hyaluronic acid, it's glycol uh, glycolic acid um, and AHAs or something. Um, so this is a tightening and resplendent eye mask. Okay. I don't mind this. Now, if this had been last year, I would have got really angry. Because last year was, 2020 was the year of the eye mask. It was the year of the eye cream. It was the year of the, every single uh, beauty box you could possibly imagine will have an eye cream in virtually every month. I think from Glossy Box last year when I was getting Glossy Box, I think we got three or four. We had two or three coming up in Rocker Box. Literally every other month or at least one month in three, every single sub box had an eye cream or some kind of eye mask in it uh, which was fine except if you've subscribed to two or three or four of the beauty boxes you then have like five years worth of eye cream 
in one single year that is all going off within 12 months wasn't good but anyway i'm getting through my eye creams now um so this is something that i will definitely have a little look at should we have a look and see what it says on the leaflet for for once this is a full size item and this is worth 72 pounds holy fuck I, I couldn't think of another word holy bleep wow wow okay um i was going to try a little bit on the back of my hand but do you know what I think I think I'm just going to put a tiny bit here a little tiny a little tiny globule just there okay okay there's no scent to it it seems i and again why have i done that because i'm gonna to have to put the other a little bit on the other eye now otherwise i'm gonna walk, be walking around all day thinking that one eye is gonna look like a a young nubile gorgeous young svelte like supermodel eye and the other one's like an old hag or zelda from terror hawks or something like that yeah they're not legend of zelda but terror hawks because i'm that old i'm giving you 1980s tv references but anyway Anyway, that's fine. Don't worry, I don't actually wear a lot of foundation anymore. So I don't have foundation on. I've got my eye makeup done and my highlighter and everything else, but I don't have any foundation on. So if you're wondering, what's she doing? Put it all over foundation. There's no foundation on. Um, or concealer, actually, or concealer. So yeah, I know, right? My skin's not doing too bad, despite the sort of abuse that I've given it recently. But anyway, we'll talk about that on the skincare video. So uh, this says, if you haven't yet heard of this innovative British skincare brand, then take note as its innovative products, okay, two lots of innovative, it must be innovative, um, are hailed by beauty editions and dermatologists as serious skincare saviors created to fit seamlessly into a busy lifestyle. Right, okay, just tell us what it does. Part of the brand's hero collection is this eye mask and just one use, yes really, gave us a glimpse into why it's hailed as a hero product. So they've only used it once and then they put it in the box. Okay, so much for personal recommendations and items we absolutely love and our beauty heroes. Right, uh, firstly it's rich in hyaluronic acid, which I adore, I must say I adore hyaluronic acid, which penetrates deeply into the skin, intensely hydrating and plumping out fine lines. Okay, so this is going to be used over my entire face, like this will be in my lines, in my forehead, everywhere. This is going to get used now. Um, uh, it, it says it contains pululin. I've never even heard of pululin which forms a sheer film over the skin that temporarily improves its texture, appearing to tighten the skin. Oh, and lastly, it's fortified with sheer butter, which works as an emollient, keeping that delicate eye contour soft, supple and younger looking. Beauty experts advise applying with a light tapping motion, uh, applying light pressure to the corner of your eyes to help tone and reinforce eye muscles. Okay, and we'll see if by the end of this video if there's any noticeable difference at all okay so i should have taken a before picture but i didn't know i would be doing this so we'll just have to use a picture from the beginning of the video before i did this and then at the end of the video we'll do a comparison okay just to see whether we can notice a difference the first time we use it as well because as they say it gave us a glimpse um, after one use, it gave us a glimpse into why it's hailed a hero product. So we shall see. I mean, for £72, that is a lot of money. But I do know with a lot of these independent companies, um, some of the high-end products, some of the high-end ingredients can be really expensive. And so, yeah, I am not at all, like, disbelieving that price point. I, I absolutely believe that price point, especially with eye creams, because people do pay a lot of money to have that smoothing effect. I will say, I can feel it. It does seem to be pulling. Now, when I put that first little tiny blob on, I thought, oh, that might be a little bit tingly, but I actually can feel it starting to do something. So we'll keep an eye on that for the rest of the video. Let's see what else we've got in here. There's two more items, I think. What's this? Oh, okay. <laughs> Mud Masky. I have just binned three Mud Masky products for my skincare because I don't actually like this brand so it's not something I'm going to use um, 
uh, however right it says it's the mineral infused double cleansing mask now it says it's deep cleansing pore refining restoring nourishing and hydrating y you see right let, let i tell you what i'll read you what it says in the booklet and then we'll have a talk about mud masky okay so it says replace your usual night cleanser with this hard working product to give your skin a really thorough cleanse and detoxify your complexion before bed uh, containing a blend of cleansing minerals which will bring your skin's pH in balance again which in turn reduces redness, calms any existing acne and prevents further outbreaks. It's a genius formula that's well worth including in your nightly regime. Okay, now that sounds fantastic, doesn't it? And it's got a retail value of £34. Hi everyone, editing me again. So, I've just looked at the Mud Masky uh, product. This is the Mud Masky Mineral Infused Cleanser. You know my thoughts on this. It says on the paperwork that this has a retail value of £34. I've just been to the Mud Masky website. I found this exact tube, this exact size, and it's £43, not £34. So, are Rockerbox just dropping the ball on this month? They've got the numbers around the wrong way. Like, surely it would benefit them to have this at the full retail value of £43 because it will add an extra £9 to the suggested RRP of the box. But it does just go to show, doesn't it? We're all paying this £5 extra thinking we're getting extra stuff. And actually, this month there's been two mess-ups and this is only the second item I'm looking at. Go figure. So Lisa, why are you not over the moon to have this amazing cleansing product for £34 in your £15 box? Well, I went through my skincare, right? And last year, with all of the various boxes, we got several mud masky items. We got a mud masky facial moisturiser for winter. We got a mud masky moisturiser with SPF 50 for summer. We also got hair masks and various other items. And then we got, I actually got two for various, um, from a couple of boxes. We got the blue light, anti-blue light moisturizer. Okay, I will put a picture of it up on screen here if I remember. Um, and that anti-blue light moisturizer claimed all of this wonderful stuff, which is hokum because blue light isn't a thing from your screen. And this entire product, which again was worth like 30, 40 pounds, whatever it was, this entire product was based on fake science, absolutely fake science. And it was based on this idea that blue light, the blue light from the UV range can damage our skin. Therefore, because the phone that I'm recording on or my telly or my laptop, um, because those have blue light in them as well, that it would be damaging our skin. And the science is not there to prove it. The science basically shows that you would need to spend hours and hours and hours, literally every single day, surrounded by screens on 24 seven. You would need to do that for weeks and months and months, if not years, before you would get the same amount of blue light damage that you get from going out in general everyday sunlight for 15 minutes. So it isn't a thing. It is not a thing. It is something that all these companies are doing going, oh, blue light, because there was one scientific study which said, no, look, just just re do the research. Like if any of you are sat there watching this, right, and you are worried about your skincare because you're on your phone all the time, or maybe you do like YouTube as a hobby, or maybe you're a professional YouTuber, or maybe you sit in front of a laptop all day and then you go home and you play video games and you're on your phone at night time. And you think, oh, blue lights, all these screens, blue lights. I must go out and buy a 40 pound moisturizer to protect my skin. It is hokum, it is absolute hokum. It is not a thing. So the fact that Mud Masky came out with this specific product for blue light, raved about it it had all of these claims it was going to do all of this stuff it was amazing the fact that that happened made me instantly go to this brand you know what i don't believe a word you say right then uh i think we've got one last oh no is that another item oh yeah there's two items oh this one's stuck right at the bottom there we go what is this oh oh well this is underwhelming the daily use rounds now don't get me wrong it's fine to have more of these in your boxes right it's fine to have more of these because we should be replacing these fairly often yeah i've had these before these are the ones that i mean they're okay 
they're not the best to be honest with you the makeup revolution coconut cotton one i mean wow it's snowing that is so bad that is so bad jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way <coughs> oh, oh, oh there's a lot there's a lot <laughs> it does look like christmas it's so Christmassy! Oh gosh, I mean, the Makeup Revolution ones I think are better. Um, there are other ones that I think are better, but also, Nady from Pop Lux had an amazing thing where you can go and buy a pair of fleecy pajamas, and that works just as well. So yeah, I'm not sure about these. I mean, they're fine to have. They will go in my collection. I've had this exact packet many, many, many times. I do use them. Um, I have gone on to sustainable cotton rounds so this sort of thing the small little puff puff ones the uh makeup revolution ones which are really really good actually and come in a little hessian bag uh, a little uh string bag for you to wash them in and stuff so they are really good and i do use these and you can buy very similar items in poundland b and m one below all of those budget shops because it is just a fleecy bit of fabric that they've cut into a circle and then stitch around the outside so that you don't get all the fluffy fallout which wasn't very good was it but anyway let's have a look it says here the retail value six pound fifty what oh no 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 hi it's editing me for a third time in the same video this is where you know this box like just no just no so the daily concepts reusable rounds right you've just seen me be pretty scathing about them uh, especially with a retail value of six pounds fifty according to rocket box when you go onto their website, which is an American website, you can buy this same product for $5. With the exchange rate, $5 is approximately, well, it's just under £4. So where are they getting £6.50 from? Are they talking about the shipping costs, the import charges that you have to pay to get it into the UK? This is not adding up. So I already say at the end of this video that I am done with Rockerbox. I am done with Rockerbox. Right, it says, we um, we shunned face wipes long ago. Yeah, face wipes are bad. Bad for the environment, bad for your skin. Um, not only are they far from ideal at cleansing your skin, just said that, but they're also terrible for the planet. Just said that. Just said that. Thank, thank you, Rocket Box. I, I wouldn't have known that. Um, that doesn't mean we didn't, know how, uh, didn't miss how handy they were, uh, especially when traveling. Daily Concepts has handily produced... I don't know who's written this this month. It doesn't flow very well, does it? Daily Concepts has handily produced daily reusable rounds, compact little reusable pads that allow us to remove your makeup uh, using only water while allowing us to cut down on cotton waste. Simply add water to the daily, see, it just doesn't flow, to the daily reusable rounds or use your usual cleanser for super clean results and then wash your face with your next washing load. No, what? Wash the pads. I was going to say, put, put your face in the washing machine. Then wash your pads with the next washing load in order to use again. Yeah, now, the one thing I would say about this, if you've got one of those little bags, like a lot of shops are doing them now for vegetables, you know, the little cotton bags, put them in that because they've got a drawstring. Or if you've got a, a pillowcase or even, I guess, maybe even a large sock, put them in something. Now, this is why I like the Revolution Grounds thing because the little, the little um, like, mesh bag, that's what I use to wash all of these and my makeup sponges and then they all go in the wash. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, they're fine. They do the job, but that is not worth £6.50. That is not worth £6.50 at all. And then there is this other item in here. What's this? Oh, it says your extra treat. It's an Ellie Saab Le Parfum sample. So one of the freebie samples. From a company that is freebie that you don't pay for and they're giving it to us in this new exclusive high-end amazing value box uh yeah right i'll have a little sniff oh is it just a little oh okay actually i take it back i take it back because this is a little tiny it's a little good look it's a little tiny atomizer one this is really good i don't know what the perfume smells like and to a large extent with like three squirts worth probably not going to find out um she says throwing shade but no um, these are really good actually right so if you like the perfume use the perfume but then you can take these tops off oh this is going to be one that isn't going to come off isn't it you can just about get this top off and if you get the tops off you can put your own 
couple of squirts of your own perfume into this. Actually, that's just sprayed. That smells really nice. I'm not able to use a lot of perfumes because of Rufus's asthma and because it really does trigger his breathing. Um, but that's just put a little bit of scent somehow has just leaked out of that. And that does smell really, really nice. But what I was going to say is use this or, or empty it out and then just get your normal perfume bottle that you like, right? And you know when, you, if you're going out, if you're on a night out, or even if you're going to work, you might not want to take a full-size perfume bottle. Keep these, because all you do is you empty this out, wash it out, put a couple of squirts of your perfume in the thing and put the lid back on. And literally, you can fill it. And then that's enough for you throughout the, throughout the day or the night out, whatever it is you're doing, especially coming up to Christmas time, if you're going out for a party, then you can use this, keep it in your bag. And if you lose this or you drop your bag or your bag gets nicked or you're drunk and you just like, forget it in the taxi you're not losing a 50 60 70 pound bottle of perfume you're just losing a couple of squirts so yeah top tip there um do i like the fact that it's in a uh, a rocker box well it's an extra treat it says but you know it's, it's it's completely underwhelming for me with every unboxing i do over both channels i like to give a star item and a dud now for me the star item is always going to be my favorite it doesn't need to be the most expensive but it does need to be the one that i am most like oh i want to try that right the dud item is my least favorite from that box it doesn't mean again it's the my least favorite overall it might be an item that we've had regularly in sub boxes it might be an item where i'm questioning the value or just something that i personally won't use for various reasons okay so then i think my star item uh i think i am absolutely torn between the uh skin chemists toner and the symbiosis london eye cream and you know what? I think because this is only a sample size or a deluxe mini that I'm going to go with the eye cream. I know, right? Last year, I got so angry and so irate about the fact that we were getting so many of these in all the boxes that I, I just hated eye creams last year. However, we haven't had as many in 2021. It feels like all of the surplus eye creams that the companies had last year, they got rid of in all the sub boxes or possibly the advent calendars. <laughs> um and uh, we haven't had some of these recently so i am quite happy to have this the fact that it is i think the most expensive item in the box helps as well but also i've got to say i i'll do a comparison now but i can feel this actually starting to it, it's not I, it's a really weird sensation if you've not used a cream like this before there used to be a product that i had like this that i bought from the company and they came with little ampules and they were extremely expensive they were like five or six pounds per day that I was paying to have. And it basically did the same effect. It basically kind of um, locked it and then you, you couldn't move your face while it dried. And it kind of, and it did this lifty thing of like tightening all your under eyes, but you couldn't move. This feels a little bit similar to that. So I'll be really interested to see what the results are. So if I just hold on the camera just here, hopefully right up here, there should be a picture of what I was like at the beginning of the video and uh, we'll see sort of 20 minutes in whether or not that's made any difference at all if it has this will be my star if not it'll be this so i'll let you judge that down in the in the comment section but i think i'm really excited to try this item and this is why i do like sub boxes because i would never have bought this 72 quid i would never in a million years would i have bought this even as a treat item i'd rather spend my 72 pound on something else um so yeah so that's my star item my dad oh i'm spoiled for choice um so is it going to be the daily concepts that aren't six pound fifty because there's two in there and they go everywhere and you lift fluff everywhere is it going to be the freebie perfume sample well it can't be that because that's a freebie extra so is it going to be this or is it going to be this what is it going to be uh, I think it's got to be the mud masky just because after that blue light cream this is not something that I trust I do not trust this brand like they can say this is made from Himalayan yak milk that they have climbed up the mountain themselves personally and milked the yak and they have had it handmade in the finest blah de blah de blah nope this is the company that made blue light moisturizers this is the company this is the company that made a big deal about saving our skin from something that doesn't damage our skin therefore 
I don't trust them. So that is my dud. So I've just done the maths in my head and this box comes to £147.90 if these retail value prices are to be believed. Now, the one thing I will say is obviously I will subtract from that the £34 from this item that without even looking at it, opening it or anything else is something that I will never, ever, ever use. So we'll take that one out, which means for me, the value of this box is standing at £117. And I've got to say, even with that mud masky one removed, £117 for a 1895 spend, I think that's pretty good value. I am excited to use the eye cream and the collagen. And you know what? Even this body oil, I've got to say, it's left a subtle kind of scent, but it does look it does look nice and my skin does feel a little bit softer. So I will let you know in a future video what I think about these products. But let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section. What do you think about Rockerbox? Do you think the value was there this month? Is this worth that extra five pounds for these amazing high-end products and these amazing everything full size, la 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 la, that we were expecting. I did say at the start of this video that this could be my last rocker box. Now the reason for that is I've just filmed a skincare video going through my entire skincare collection, picking out the items to put together a morning and an evening routine with the items that I already have in my collection. Uh, there is a giveaway coming in that video as well. So there's a little spontaneous giveaway that I did. Um, and I've got to say it proved to me just how many skincare items I have that are slowly edging towards their expiry dates and I'm just not using. And then what I'm getting every month is a whole bunch of more items that I am adding into the collection, which is just making that problem worse. So for me, I think I am going to be pausing Rockerbox for six months um, and I will come back to it in May or June of, of 2022 but I think I am going to be pausing it and I've got to say that the December sneak peek on the back of the leaflet has just reinforced that this is the right decision to pause this box or to cancel this box for six months because as you can see this is a Loritzi eyeshadow palette that is coming up next month um, it says it's worth £25. There's five shadows in here. They all look very, very similar. It says it's the burnt range. So burnt oranges and reds. I've got all of these colours already. Like these colours are so common at Christmas time. The reds, the burnt oranges, sort of the burgundies, all of these. They're so common at this time of year. I have these repeated in multiple, multiple palettes. I do not need another palette with these colours in. Added to that, it's by the brand La Ritzy, which I've only ever seen in sub boxes. So I don't know whether it's a genuine brand or whether it's a private label brand, whether it's one of these ones like Dirty Little Secret or Bang Bang Beauty or Saint Lux that are in all these boxes that actually you never ever see anywhere else that have these inflated values. So for me, this has made the decision absolutely concrete that I am going to be stopping Rocker Box for six months. But there you are everyone. Those are all my thoughts and feelings on this month's Rocker Box. Let me know all yours down in the description box. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a big old thumbs up. That really helps me out with YouTube's algorithm. And if you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button and then ding your bell and change your settings to all. That way YouTube should notify you each and every time I upload a video. But that's it for me today. And as we always say, stay you, stay safe, stay authentic, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.